Hello and welcome. So today is just going to be a quick one on how I make my slide drop down for my Oztrail 8 litre fridge. had to make my own slide drop down due to the Oz Trail being a lot longer than higher compared to a lot of other fridges on the market. I had mates that had got the MSA, the Clearview and the Oz Trail didn't fit in there without customising the base. So what I'm going to do from here is take the fridge back out. As you can see everything's just raw materials at the moment. So I'm going to take it all apart and I'll run through the bits and pieces that I do have here so hopefully you guys can make your own one at home because this in total was 200 bucks MSA Clearview all those other ones you're looking 1000 1100 1200 for something of this size so hopefully this video can help you guys out Alright, so this is just a quick run through of the parts that are needed to make the slide drop down. Now the only thing that needs to be welded is the base. I made this about 5-10mm each way longer than the actual fridge itself. And then from there on, uh, these are like the front rails. Well, these are the side rails that, that connect to the, uh, the slides. I bought these from Dun & Watson. They're about a metre, 13 metre, 15, something like that. I needed that extra length so it will clear because my fridge is set back 50 mil so the door will close. So I had to allow for extra room so it could come outside of the car and then drop. Uh, obviously the handle, I'll take all that apart because I'm getting ready to paint all of this. And then the back, the back rail itself, this cutout here is pretty important because when, when the slides do come down, if that's not cut out, it will sit up on top like that. And with that cutout, it allows this to close and then the base lifts up so, so you can then pull it out. So I'll clean all this. We had a bit of wax and grease remover. I'll paint it all up, but the next video I'll show you is a sped up video of everything going back together. So there we have it, it's all together. All that's left is the handle. So I've just got some threaded rod, and then the handle goes in between. Alright, I'll 
I'll show you what's going on in here. So at the top, I've got a clip just to hold in the handle so it don't fall down behind the fridge. The clip that I bought was just one of these from Bunnings. I think they're for brooms and stuff like that. So that's about all for the fridge slide. I'm about to load the fridge back in and go out and enjoy it. So as I said, any questions, comments, leave them all below and I'll be happy to answer them all. Thanks for watching.